is what it takes to change your body in midlife. Hi, I am accredited practicing dietitian, master coach at Team BioLine. Number one, commit to one program. Just one. If you spend a lot of time searching for the workout you will do tomorrow, hop from one program to another program and doing random shit, likely this is not working for you. The program that you will commit to is going to be resistance training, progressive overload. Start with three times a week. Number two, commit to consistency over perfection. If you just show up every day and do what you are meant to be doing, rather than all or nothing, all perfect, and if it's not perfect, I can't do it. If you can't do 100%, do whatever you can do, but still do the best you can. Start by creating structures, boundaries, and schedules that you can stick to that are realistic for you. Look at your life toll, see what you can actually commit to and do it consistently. Number three, eat to nourish your body. Don't continue dieting forever, eliminating food groups, doing the random crash diet that is popular on the time. It's going to work for you for the long run. That's why I'm an anti-diet dietitian. I hate crash dieting and random shit. Work on the nutrition that you need that is going to work for you. Don't diet forever. Be at maintenance or sometimes a slightly higher calories while you're training hard. It's going to actually ensure you that you build a better relationship with food, you don't fall into binge eating or eating disorders, and that you can actually thrive and your body can thrive too. Number four, move more. Move more. Studies have shown that metabolism doesn't slow down over the years as you age. The problem is that we move less, we become more sedentary, and therefore we also lose muscle, we spend less energy. And that's why you feel like your metabolism is slow. It's not. Generally, in midlife, move much less for some random reason. Eat a lot less, move a lot less, drink more alcohol, more stress. Moving more means not just exercising or doing resistance training, a few hours of cardio a week, but also increasing your need, non-exercise activity thermogenesis, doing just the general things that you do, but moving around, especially walking. So if you found this helpful, follow this girl. I see you in the next one.